In the seven years since it was declared an entertainment district, Station Street on Chattanooga's south side has become party central, but it's also become home to crime and alcohol-fueled violence. Well, tonight, City Council members proposed a measure aimed at addressing the problems and helping keep partygoers safe. Jeremiah Beatty reports. The plan is to close Station Street for a certain amount of days and hours to help reduce crime and the amount of drinking happening on the streets. There's just so much going on on Station Street. So much spills over. I get so many calls and there's so much violence that spills out of there that at some point we have to do something. The provision drafted by Councilwoman Rakita Dotley and Marvine Noel proposes to close Station Street to traffic from the Market Street and Rossville Avenue entrances. The closures would begin Thursday nights and last until Sunday morning as the council finds those days to be the busiest. The proposal would also require businesses to financially support general security outside of what's provided by Chattanooga police. Let's say there's an incident at one of the nightclubs or one of the places there. It spills out into the street. There's no one there to regulate that. There's no one uh, talking to CPD. There's nothing. While it's a hub for many party goers and the only place drinking is allowed, it's become a public safety concern for leaders over the years. Last year, State Representative Todd Gardenhire wanted to address the issue by banning the entertainment district status, allowing open drinking of alcohol on Station Street. Closing the road is a strategy Councilwoman Dotley believes will help mitigate crime in the area. You know, there's people there, there's traffic there, and it causes a lot of confusion and cluster, especially because uh, there's open um, drinking. Businesses on the street could be responsible for mandating and coordinating those closures with CDOT. If approved, the new plan could be in effect year-round, but not everyone on the council is on board. I would be concerned about mandating that every business does because I may not want to. The mandate may pose some challenges for parking, which would only be accessible on Main Street and the alleyway on Rossville Avenue. Council members will also have to consider the unintended consequences of the ordinance and what happens if some choose not to participate or comply. I just want to make sure that we're careful in how we're legislating that for people that may not wish to take part in this. The City Council will analyze the proposal. They hope to find a game plan that works. They plan to address it in the next upcoming meeting. Reporting in Chattanooga, I'm Jeremiah Beatty.